end with this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that my latest collection, Romantique, is now out for the summer. Um, this is the collection that I'm going to be working on and creating and packaging in this entire video. This collection is inspired by cottage core and ballet core trends. You'll see the use of a lot of high quality pearls and also crystals and heart shaped gemstones. And I've also been utilizing some new techniques that I've learned, which has to do with wire work and shaping the ribbons. I really, really love how this entire collection came together and I hope you guys like it too. I kind of like never really thought that I would be one of those people who like found their dream job in life. Like I remember feeling like so envious of people who like kind of, you know, like seemed like really happy and at peace with life. But I feel like I was always kind of like searching for something and like I always just felt like, I don't know, like I wasn't doing exactly what I wanted to do. But yeah, ever since I started making jewelry, I kind of like felt like I found that missing piece. I've honestly like never been happier, so it's really nice. I think also like in a really funny way, like creating jewelry has also like really changed like my self-esteem. I think like before, you know, like I know people really look up to me because of like how fearless my fashion is, but there's definitely a lot of times where like I'm getting ready in the mornings and I'm just like, oh man, like this outfit is just like really loud and really busy and like I don't want to deal with like, you know, like I know people are going to look at me and people are going to like ask questions and I kind of just don't really want to like deal with that or like I don't want to deal with like the stairs walking down the street but I think ever since I like started changing my mindset and thinking, okay, well, um, I'm going to dress up today for literally any occasion, even like going to the grocery store because like I want to wear my designs and I want to promote my designs and like I want to take pictures and like all this stuff. It really changed like my self-esteem because I sort of thought of myself like this is all for the fact that I am like representing like my own creations and like honestly like my self-esteem has been so much better and like I don't really like feel like shy about wearing the things that I want to anymore like in public. like. I feel so confident like wearing like the most ridiculous things um, and like oh! and like not really like feeling like oh man like I'm overdressed or like anything like that because like anytime I get to wear like my creations and like represent the things that I make it makes me so happy so like <laughs> um, I obviously know how to tie a ribbon but I wanted to make sure that I was tying like the most beautiful ribbon imaginable so i've been watching like 70 different youtube tutorials about like how to tie ribbons just making sure that um yeah i'm tying the best ribbon possible so this surprisingly um has been my top seller for this new collection um yeah i don't know why i'm surprised by it um just because like well, obviously, like my, I set my standards very low. Whenever I drop something, I always like tell myself, like, okay, like nobody's gonna buy this. Like, keep, keep your, keep your hopes low, just in case nothing sells. Um, but I'm really surprised this one has sold the most. My idea for this was to sort of create like a lacy design um, with the pearl itself. So yeah, I was playing around with like a little bit of wire work, and also I definitely wanted to incorporate like some of the ribbon that's been really popular recently and yeah i've just been really channeling a lot of like chobits vibes into all of my work recently look at this ugly ass thing um yeah you know i'm waiting for the day that i can tie these like very quickly and flawlessly because uh today is not that day not yet at least Oh my god, it's so cute. And then there's like different ways to seal off the edge of the ribbons so that it doesn't fray. Um, you could use like glue or you can burn it with like a match. 
but I personally really like using like nail polish like a top coat because it's clear and you don't really notice it and yeah it's like pretty much like undetectable so so yeah after I apply my little polish to seal the end of the bow I just move it over here so that I could dry and then I am on to the next one it does make you wonder what was missed there, but there was a little bit more information. You know, they've never released the cause of death, meaning how or the manner of the murder. But this time in, in this case... dug out my dress form from my attic and I've been really wanting to make different pieces of jewelry outside of the usual stuff like necklaces and earrings and bracelets and I wanted to start making bigger things so one of the first things that I ended up making is a waist chain and I released this earlier this month in two different colorways so right now I'm just working on some of the orders that I got I already packed a few and these are just um, a couple of the ones that I still need to make. I still have to like make the ribbon. I don't know, like I put a lot of effort into keeping it super clean and just making like a really nice product. It's really sturdy so the wire holds its shape. I went through several different versions of this using a lot of different materials and um, put it through like a lot of test wear and finally this is the result and I really like how it looks. So I went through a couple of samples for the, what is this, uh, belt clasp. And I finally decided on these heart ones. They're so cute because they're like really heavy duty. So I like how, I just like how it looks a little bit chunkier um, so that there's like a nice mix and match of like the different materials that I'm using. So this is the uh, bejeweled bezel chain that I ended up using for this piece. I have a pink version and then I also have the white version. I really shelled out on materials for this one because I wanted it to be something special and it is really nice quality chain. Um, it's gold filled and also it's super sparkly and the color is really nice. Um, yeah, I just wanted it to be like a special piece that people have for a long time, hopefully. I also have this like giant glass heart choker on like a ribbon it's because i've been seeing a lot of like statement heart pieces on like ribbon or cord recently um i feel like it's sort of like a revival of like statement chokers from like the 90s and i wanted to like try my own version of it um i think it's pretty cute i honestly don't know if i'm gonna launch these um yeah let me know what you guys think if you want these in the store i think i would do like a couple different colorways good morning um, so, some new things in this studio as always, I guess. Um, I am going to pack orders today and a new thing that I did recently is, um, I'm going to switch my poly mailers out for these, like, boxes. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the size. So far, I think I like these pink ones. And then I also have some white ones. So I'm just going to assemble a wall of boxes because I'm going to pack orders today, so.